throw somebody in. Yeah, yeah, yeah to substitute for them. Yeah. The same thing needs to be there for every Absolutely. round. Every single yeah. round. Seven couples we call for the go. A lot on the line here tonight. Starting off with very, very tight on this couple, doing a great display of arm style. show some stillness. It's unusual that they would pause so much in the cha-cha to build intensity, but it's really paying off. Well, it's like we were talking about, you know, last week, the animation of choreography is very different from what shows are doing. And I think we just saw that yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Because the it, because the the real artistry of cha cha is to be able to work the rhythm. Yeah. You know, there, there's so much variety in cha cha to be able to show that you understand and that you've studied rhythm and music. Well, now you're going to see samba, and I think looking very different from the pro Latin last night. Here we have Ruby Castro. But see, now that's what we're talking about. We talk about that movement. She did some very, very quick swivels and then turns that into stillness. And now, it's good. now they're going to start at running down the dance floor. They're going to go into a volta action that takes them down the floor because they want to travel and get the audience involved in their choreography. Carter and Riley. I'm just so impressed with Carter and Riley. Riley's choice of the costume showing that Cuban influence is so great. And then here, a complete contrast to the Cuban influence. Five, this is an much more yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'd say that's that's one of those costumes that you could see walking around in Monaco in one of the evenings. You could be at the Monaco Film Festival easily. There's a really nice use of standard movement in the rumba where they use a telemark to go into a, an oblique line. This is uh, Alexei Bonikovsky and Kirsten Lusion from Arizona. Arizona well represented tonight in this final. It's great to see that they made the journey from out west to be here on an East Coast competition. Beautiful 
flexibility and beautiful leg line stand there at the very end of the rumble. And these couples showing really incredible poise in between the dances as well. They're taking time with the audience, they're presenting, they're giving the audience a little bit more. You don't see them like like gasping for air, huffing and puffing, adjusting their costumes or tamping their shoes in water or anything. You see them really being part of the performance in between the songs. And that's the maturity of their dancing. Everything that you said, they do in their pre team and in their junior divisions and then gradually by the time they get to you. Right. They're I think their stamina is better, they understand that how to just try to get energy and sing from one dance to the next. So we're seeing we're seeing them maturing. Possibly classically about how a man and a woman tell the story of the bullfight. The woman has the advantage of being the thief in the bullfight and the man being the matador. But it's always a question of which couple tells the better story. And sometimes the man and the woman appear to be telling two different versions of the same story. And that's why partnership is so important. It's not just choreography. Right, because the man and the woman, if they are telling two different versions of that story, they have to make that contrast appealing and understandable. That's right. Final round. We're now going to go down to the on-deck area. We have Tony Deckpack, who's one of our couples. 